So the washing machine, I don't think it was really explained very well um, how we keep it stable uh, on the move. So put a frame literally going round the entire machine at the bottom, all of the weight in these washing machines are at the bottom. Now you can see the attachments that are put on. So we've got one, two, two on the other side, one, two. And we've got two of these. So, to bungee it, strap it rather, all the way around twice, and one going right around the machine, okay, which holds it nicely in place. Now, as I said on the, the, the tour, the washing machine is absolute gold to, to have on there. It's a bit of work um, in regards to the floor because there's a vertical lip um, about halfway through under the floor. So, you know, the washing machine will sit on it and you can put your feet on the floor. Now, when I removed the toilet, there was two bolt holes. So underneath the washing machine, this floor is bolted down also. And you can see where I bonded it <coughs> going round as well. So it, it, it's really, really secure. You know, obviously there's a little bit of shaking, but as an example, when I had the washing machine before we got the floor done, we'd do a few washes here. And the washing machine was, was sitting uh, in front of the steps and the entire boat would shake. The, uh, you know, the, even the mast was shaking. But the second I got it in here, um, you know, no movement or hardly any movement on the boat at all. Now in regards, again, to, to water, um, the black water that's coming out of it. So, you know, we, we just use containers. Um, you know, you, you run off to the marina bathroom, empty them. Uh, about two large containers we will do a medium size wash or a long wash. But uh, again, you know, a 15 minute wash is just going to do about 20, 25 litres of water. So uh, it's, it's enough. Just keep on refreshing the clothes. Now, I mentioned uh, in the tour that we have a, a young daughter. Now, my wife used to you know, hand wash her clothes, bless her. Um, you, you know, her poor hands afterwards. I used to shy away from that type of thing. Obviously, I'll give her a hand. Um, so, washing machine, absolute gold. Now, the door, obviously, there's seacocks behind there. So, you know, before we sail anywhere, we, we have to check all the seacocks in the boat just to make sure everything is the way it should be. So, I'm going to remove that door and put a nice wooden uh, plate, if you want to call it, over so I can take it on and off easily. I put three plugs uh, back there one for the Hoover one for the washing machine and, you know on an extension one for the iron when we do a bit of ironing um so again gold i, I don't know if i'm missing anything uh, in regards to the washing machine now you know i know a lot of people run their washing machine out into the water and okay you know depending on where you are if you want to do that that's fine um you know obviously it's huge fines depending on where we are uh, or where you are uh, using washing machines and uh, grease when we were there if you were discharging fluids off the boat, um, you know, toilet water, that type of thing, it's a five grand fine. So, you know, we, we just wouldn't risk that. Plus we love the water, we're in there all the time. Um, Turkey are also extremely hardcore. We sell itself from one side of Turkey um, across the coast uh, to, to the other. And, uh, you know, there's always a temptation to, to offload stuff. Which is, it's just not worth it. The fines are just too heavy. And if you're in and out of the water, you know, why would you do that? Turkish water is absolutely gorgeous. Cypriot water is gorgeous. Greek water is gorgeous. Um, so, yeah, if there's any other questions in regards to the washing machine, do let us know. Uh, and I'm happy to, uh, you know, answer any questions. Um, great. Have a, have a nice day.